sometimes, um, especially if it's before it rain, but always, because you don't know how, how long this thing is gonna be up for, you really wanna prevent pooling. So the two steps that we take to prevent pooling on high peak frame tents, marquee tents like this, is we make sure the center peak is tight. So you can see, this is fairly tight, you know, uh, um, between the wires and the top, that this is tight. On this brand of tent, there is a screw that you can utilize to tighten it. Right now it's actually pretty tight, so I can't even make it tighter. And that's what you want. You want it to be super tight so that the rain hits the tent and falls off rather than kind of sags and pools. Now some runs don't have this screw, so what we do is you can just change the bolts on the very top. Uh, not when it's up, but when it's down before you put it in, you can change out the bolts and make it a bit longer so that it's nice and tight. The second thing that we do, come with me, The second thing that we do that really helps, and again, the pooling would happen essentially there because it would push it, the water, especially if there's like a wind, push it down and the pooling would begin right there. So having that center peak tight and having these corners really snug is what we do that really helps prevent pooling if it's a heavy rain weekend or something like that. Make sure that these two fascias of the tent or valences are tight together that it's not broken and that it's tight down i almost put my body weight down and do these occasionally do need replacement especially if you're putting that much force down but again super tight here super tight center pole or peak poles and that will prevent pooling for your frame tents hope that was helpful take it easy